got our first frost. Actually not as chilly as I was anticipating. I really kind of anticipated it to be a little bit warmer. Or colder, I mean. <laughs> I was expecting it to be colder. And maybe it's because the wind's not blowing. It's 32 this morning, so sitting outside in the football field's gonna be a bit chilly today, I have a feeling. But first off, we gotta go chore, check on stuff before um, it goes to the ball game. They should have came out and started the pickup first. I just wasn't thinking yet. Um, I'm not entirely sure what all is in store um, for this afternoon. It's gonna just kind of be probably pieced together. Jason may have to go help another friend with some corn harvest. I need to trim some leaves, obviously. <laughs> Oops. Um, Jason's gonna help um, some more friends. Brian got done with his, so now we're going the opposite direction and uh, we may have to take a tractor with us. I don't, I'm not real sure. Um, Keaton may end up over there, so I may not have to like help since he's home. He might just help him run a grain cart and run the bins. So, that's where we're at. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, whatever you're doing, wherever you're at. Thanks for watching. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell. All the good stuff that helps the algorithm find us and share us with others. So let's go chore real quick and then I'll go home and we'll get football going. So on Saturdays, it's a bit, um, it's always sometimes a bit chaotic because Carol usually goes to market. So then I have to um, get all the chickens let out and whatnot. So we're gonna go up and get the Pioneer, and while I'm up here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let out these hens. I know here in a couple weeks, we are gonna start transitioning them all to that white hen house for the winter, just to have them all together. And uh, I know they've got some different stuff going on with them. So, oh, lock the gate, Kayla, they'll be all out. See, I don't do it enough. When they were gone, then I did it every day, and it was like, oh yeah, I need to do that. But when you get out of routine, just a little bit harder. Okay, sit down, hold on. We just use these old stock trailers as a, as a housing. They're not, are you girls not awake yet? Oh, come on. They're getting ready to go through their molt. <laughs> like I know what I'm talking about, you know? Um, they're gonna get ready to go through their molt and they'll lose their feathers. It's just part of whatever they go through. And then their eggs will kind of slow down for a few days or maybe a month. I'd have to read up on it. But like this little hen right here, she's going through the molt. Okay guys, I'll go get you some feed. What do you think, Rocky man? Hmm? Breakfast, breakfast champs. Do you think I could you? I couldn't forgive you. You got your fuzzies on. What do you think, pretty girl? No riding this morning. Okay. I gotta finish letting the hens out behind the horse barn here. Give Storm some hay. In the process. Told Jason this week I'd like to try to get a little bit of fence done. Get the get everybody back together. Clean out this. See how ambitious we are at the end of the day. Okay. All right. I'll let out the birds behind the barn here. Whoa! I am okay. Just about fell down. Ah. 
but it's gonna start staying chilly like this. I may have to dig out my uh, insulated boots and maybe a stocking cap or two. Is there really any better view? You guys, sunrise, sunset, my favorite time. Sunrise is probably my favorite not even joking I, I don't know what it is about waking up and just having this this view gives me a peace and calm and then at the end of the day the sun sets and I am thankful for another day to be here living the dream and doing what we love to do and sharing with you guys so we're gonna go watch football now you guys ready <laughs> Mine's bottoming out. Uh -huh. Mine's bottoming out. So I will be frank and very honest. I try to always be that way with you guys. Um, trying new things or doing new things that I do not know how to do or do well gives me complete anxiety, like stress. And it's not even hard. Like this should be no different than running the grain car, the silage wagon, right? So. We're learning. I'm learning. <sighs> so we're helping a different set of friends today than we did um, earlier this week with corn harvest. So a little bit different. Different equipment. Different people. I'm hoping that I don't have to go too much further and I can just flip around out here. We'll see. But he's already 
got the lights on, so. today my nerves are a little bit better about running the grain cart um, we did end up bringing my 6120 tractor over here the one that we uh, had cleaned up to send back to the dealer um, we brought it out here just because it was about the only thing that we had and then Jason is bringing the um, square baler his large square and the 145 he's gonna come bale some corn stalks out for Gatlin kind of like what we did with Brian the other day only using our square baler. It's been a long time since I've had to help with like this side of harvest. Uh, Jason used to help um, some neighbors uh, when we first got together. He would go and do fall harvest with them once he got done with hay. But since, uh, I don't know, the last five years probably, he hasn't had time. We, ju we just haven't had time between the cattle and doing our own stuff and just growing and expanding our, our own business. Um, this is the first year we're not fall calving and it has been such a relief for me not having to stress over going and checking on the cows um, several times a day while we're trying to do everything else. We are here today to do corn harvest with them and hopefully knock out several, several acres. Um, there is rain coming in, a chance of rain Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, whether or not it actually gets here is kind of iffy. But we'll take whatever raindrops we can get and not complain about it. Surprisingly, I think the crops are doing excellent. Um, I have no idea what bushels are. Um, it doesn't really pertain to me, so I don't know. I will try to ask, and if it's here, then they told me, or I remember to ask. Make sure you guys are thumbing up, leaving us a comment. Um, this is a lot different content than I was anticipating on bringing you guys. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Okie dokie. Well, this is fun. It's just a bunch of back and forth. Uh, Jason's here. He's running the bin at the moment before um, he has to go start bailing. He's just going to pick up the fodder. I'll try to catch some of that or maybe Keaton can catch some of that. I failed to remember to bring the drill. What do you think about corn harvest? Is it as much fun as hay season? No, I like hay better. You like hay better. It's a little bit less stressful, isn't it? It's not really stressful, it's just something we're not used to, right? You gonna run the green cart today? No. You gonna go bail? No? You're just here for the ride? Yeah. This riding partner doesn't talk as much as the other one. <laughs> you just don't like the camera, do you? Yeah, and depending on how you uh, get around, we have the hopper up here now. So 
so I really haven't done a whole lot of videoing of this whole corn process. Um, we did help um, shell corn today. It has been just nonstop for me. So it's kind of hard for me to video and pay attention and do what I'm doing because it's not something I do on a daily basis. I'm home now. Um, I'm going over to check cows and then I'm gonna do all the chores here. And uh, yeah, we're always on the go. It's starting to cool off. I really should have grabbed my hoodie. Shiloh, you're just gonna have to hold on just a few minutes. I hear my taxi. You guys know I'm a good sucker for a sunrise sunset. Does it not get any more prettier than that? God sure is painting a pretty one today. Harvest moon this weekend. Beautiful sunset. Couldn't ask for a better day. How my eyelids are still open, I don't know because I'm tired. I'm tired. So, I'm gonna go back, chore, go home. Probably gonna be a frozen pizza can tonight.